Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. What a blessing it is to sit here with you, studying the Word of God, enjoying what God has to speak to us. You know, He loves us so much, and He has the best plan for our lives. And so when we study His Word, we're, we're reading His notes. We're, giving, we're reading his, his whole dialogue and what He, what he wants us to know about Him. And so it, it's exciting to study the Word of God. And I pray by, uh, by your, the Holy Spirit, you are learning from him and that you're growing in your walk with the Lord. If you perhaps don't know him today, just know this. God loves you so much. He wrote this huge Bible to tell you, I love you and I want a relationship with you. We always go to the Lord in prayer as we begin our studies. So let's go to the Lord now and ask him to bless our time together. Heavenly Father, we do ask you to bless this time together. I pray that your word would go forth with power today and that the words that are said and the ideas and thoughts that you had, Lord, will be blessed in the hearts and minds of every person that's hearing the sound of my voice. I know that your Holy Spirit guides us into all truth. He's our true teacher. I know that your Holy Spirit empowers us to live according to that truth. And that the truth of the matter is, it's by grace that we're saved. It's not of ourselves. It's by your power, O Lord, that we can do these things. So we turn to you, we humble ourselves before you, and ask you to bless our lives with the teaching of your word. We thank you again for it. In Jesus' name, amen. The title to today's lesson is, The Voice of One Crying in the Wilderness. And it's taken from the book of John, chapter 1, and verse 23. John the Apostle wrote how this is the record of John. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elias? And he said, I am not. Are you that prophet? And he answered, No. Then said they unto him, Who are you that we may give an answer to them that sent us? What say you of yourself? And in chapter 1 and verse 23 of his book, John shared how John the Baptist said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Where we read, he said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as said the prophet Isaiah. The verse reads, he said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. John began with the words he said, or John the Baptist uttered, declared, and proclaimed, I am the voice, which means I, John the Baptist, exist as the speech, tongue, and language of one crying or belonging to a person who is speaking with a high, strong voice and shout in the wilderness, which means within the solitary, lonely, desolate, uninhabited desert place. John shared how John the Baptist described himself to be the strong speaking one located in the lonely desert place. The verse goes on to say, make straight the way of the Lord, as said the prophet Isaiah. John added the words make straight, which means level, plain, direct, and steer. The way of the Lord, or the course, travel, journeyed road, belonging to the one to whom a person or thing belongs, about which he has power deciding, the master, and the title given to God the Messiah, and said, which means, and uttered, declared, and proclaimed the prophet Isaiah, the man whose name was Isaiah, which means Jehovah's help, and was moved by the Spirit of God, and hence his organ or spokesman, to whom solemnly declared to man what he had received by inspiration, especially concerning future events, and in particular such as relate to the cause and kingdom of God and to human salvation. John shared how John the Baptist was given the commission to clear the pathway belonging to the Lord Jesus, which was foretold by the prophet Isaiah. You can see Isaiah chapter 40, verse 3 through 5 for more information about that. When we think through John's words in this verse, we see how John the Baptist understood he was to clear the pathway for the Messiah Jesus. Isaiah prophesied there would be a prophet who would make straight the coming of the Lord. And John the Baptist fulfilled this prophecy. God's desire is to save every person from the penalty of death for their sins. And he came to die so every person could live with him forever. Those who examine each detail concerning the coming of the Lord will discover Jesus came on their behalf. And they should choose to submit their lives to him as their personal Savior and Lord. Next time, John shares... 
they which were sent were of the Pharisees. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.